Thomas, hi. Hi. Tell Natalie. us please about uh, yourself. Yes, I am uh, Tomasz Molnar and I am uh, responsible for uh, Europe uh, from the Egg Junction company. I'm uh, doing uh, support, technical support and uh, technical development. Uh, great, thank you. So we have installed autos here on this tractor. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so please tell us about it. So currently our company provides uh, steering solutions uh, for three different steering interfaces. Uh, what we call. One is uh, what we installed in this tractor, it is the MDU, which is a mechanical drive unit where uh, between the steering wheel and uh, uh, there is an electric motor and there is a mechanical connection uh, between. The other bigger group is uh, the tractors which already prepared for auto steering. We call them uh, steer ready or steer by wire installations. And a third group is uh, the hydraulic installation, where uh, we need to install a hydraulic valve uh, into the vehicle's hydraulic system, a wheel angle sensor, and that makes uh, uh, pretty much the same uh, accuracy as a, a steer ready tractor. Great, and uh, for how many tractor models do you have out these years? We have approximately uh, 700, more than 700 uh, models and uh, types supported. So we have quite many uh, install kits. Great, and if you don't have the special kit for the tractor, so If what? we don't have the sp a special dedicated kit for a certain tractor, then uh, we recommend to have, uh, for example, in case of, uh, if it is a MDU, a mechanical uh, drive unit installation, we recommend to use a generic uh, installation kit which will fit many uh, tractor steering column. Uh, it might be that on, uh, on this uh, specific tractor a little modification will be needed, but uh, this uh, generic bracket fits on many, many uh, different models. So let's uh, go back to our John Deere tractor and the auto steer that we installed today. Can, I, can you please tell us uh, what exactly were your steps of installation? Yes, so on this tractor, uh, we, as, I, as I mentioned, we installed a uh, MDU uh, steering solution. MDU means uh, mechanical drive unit. So the installation of the MDU is uh, there is a fixed part of the installation, which is uh, the, this gear wheel what we need to install under the steering wheel and we need to uh, attach it to the to the steering wheel so that was the first and the second part which, which uh, is the anti-rotation bracket which is prepared for this uh, tractor so once we made this uh, installation we need to connect uh, our mechanical drive unit about this roller this on the rail and now it is it is installed and we install this anti-rotation pin solution connect the cable In uh, this case, as you see, uh, this is a dedicated uh, install kit for this John Deere uh, 6020 uh, tractor series, so it fits very well. Uh, the good uh, thing with this installation that uh, you can very easily uh, install the system. You don't need to remove the steering wheel. Uh, once you install the, uh, the gear on the, under the steering wheel, you just need to uh, disconnect uh, the cables and uh, unlatch uh, the, the MDU uh, arm and then uh, you are ready to uh, remove it. So this is the mechanical drive unit. Uh, the, the heart of the system is uh, our ECU steering controller which is installed 
uh, beside the seat on a uh, special bracket. It's very important that this uh, steering controller needs to be in a rigid uh, fixed position. Uh, it has to be in a, a 90 degree uh, position, so it, has to, it either has to be in a flat or a, a horizontal or a vertical uh, position for uh, generic installations. But if you, we have uh, some special uh, installation situation where we need to install it in a certain angle. Uh, if we need to do this, then uh, then uh, the vehicle profile, what we need to set up in the ECU, is already will include this special angle. So in this situation, it is not needed because, as we see, it is in a uh, horizontal uh, position. So about the hill compensation. Uh can you tell us? Yes, so the tilt compensation is uh, made by the, the ECU and the internal sensor uh, located in, uh, in, 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 the sen in the ECU box. Uh, it is very important that once we make this uh, installation we need to calibrate uh, these sensors in, in, the, in the ECU. So this will be part of the, the whole steering system uh, calibration. So we will uh, calibrate the compass and we will uh, calibrate the tilt sensors uh, before we can use uh, the system. And uh, just to finish our short interview, can you maybe give some recommendations for farmers who are thinking to uh, install the automatic steering, some practical advice? So. So the practical advice is that uh, these mechanical interfaces uh, can have the best uh, performance if you select uh, the correct uh, bracket kit uh, for the uh, for the given tractor. It makes a perfect. It can make the, a perfect installation, and then then uh, the MDU uh, cannot move. Uh, uh, alone, and that uh, will be the, the one of uh, the key points uh, which will be necessary uh, to have a uh, good steering performance in the field. The other important uh, factor is the installation of the uh, steering controller uh, unit. So, it, as I mentioned, it has to be in a rigid uh, position uh, because this will be the, the heart of the system and this will control the whole steering. Okay, thank you very much.